Hey guys, welcome to another real-time journal video. So, um, I really felt like doing a couple pages today. I'm not sure how far we'll get, but I felt like journaling, so I pulled my journal out. It is, um, as I'm filming this, it's 10.20, um, Monday, February the 8th. So, pretty late at night, but I felt like doing a couple spreads, maybe one or two. So the last thing we did was the January highlights page uh, and then the February kind of title page. And then the next thing I kind of did, I actually felt like journaling a little bit more after I did this spread. And so I did, and I only got as far as doing the layout. So remember I cut out that, that cover from the New Yorker calendar that I had. And I only got as far as sticking the dots and the pink stuff and the note but then I stopped working on it and I haven't touched my journal in a couple of days. So I just finished this up maybe a few minutes ago. I put the sticker, I put a stamp, and then I put a little note. I had a really downer weekend, uh, the weekend of the 6th. I just did not feel very well. Just really just no motivation, just felt really down this weekend. So I kind of wrote a little bit about that because I didn't know how to finish this page. And so that's what I did with that. And it's, it's very different. It's not very full. I just... I just but I'm gonna keep it that way because that's how I felt like so now I have this like one pager that I want to fill in and usually when I do my art journals I like to have spread so I have I like to have two pages that are kind of the same theme so I'm gonna do something different today and I'm gonna do just a one page thing and the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a waterfall card and I saw this a couple uh, maybe a week or two ago from the art journaling channel. I'm not sure if they do just purely art journal stuff, but their art journal, <laughs> their art channel is called, their channel is called Peachy Milk Teas. And they did a video on how to make waterfall cards, an easy DIY tutorial. So I wanted to try that in my own art journal and I will make, I'll link the video down below so you can watch their video because that's where I saw it and I'm, this is not an original idea. So I wanted to do one and my idea is uh, like, I don't want to call it depression meals. That's like a meme on TikTok because I don't want to use the word depression when I don't have depression. I'm just going to do, what did I call it? Kind of like quick meals to make when I'm lazy or feeling sad, <laughs> but, but I'm hungry. So yeah, so I want to do that. And so I will link the, like I said, I'll link the video down below, but I'm just going to make it. You can watch me make it. This is not a tutorial. Uh, so the first thing we want to do, actually, I'm going to take this spread out or this page out. I'm so used to saying spread, but it's a page. Um... Yes, so I have that and I also have these little notes that I made. Uh, these are on my members page right now. So if you want to download and print them off, print them out for yourself, you can. But I'm going to incorporate this one into the spread because I think it looks, it's, it matches really well. Uh, that's not a tear. I, it was supposed to be like uh, Mamtusk feeling like, oh no, I'm tempted by all these treats. But my brother, when he saw it, it's like, oh, is he crying? I guess that works too. So it works for the theme of this page. Um, but yeah, if you are a member um, and you would like to be, you can check it out. I have a link down below. You can sign up and become a member and you can download these post-its or these notes that I make for yourself and you can use them. All right. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is that I, I need to cut up my, my stuff. Uh, and I actually made a draft here because I wanted to do it and not take up too much of your time. So this is what they are. Uh, this is a very rough draft as you can see all it's not lined up and I just really wanted to get it down but it's really cool you can put it on your page and then you can just uh, for peachy milk teas they just did pictures but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a recipe so yeah okay let's get started um, the first thing is to measure out the stuff that I need and I have my pencil so I want to cut a 5 by 20, this is in centimeters, strip of paper. And I think you can alter the size depending on what you would like. But for me, I do like the size that she, that they did. I don't want to say she, I don't want to assume that they did on their website or on their video. So 16, up here. where is my 16? 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's where I want to be. 
And I'm gonna try and make my cuts as straight as possible. Sometimes I rush through the measuring process and things don't really turn out very nicely. So I'm just gonna be trying careful. And then I have my paper cutter here that I don't use as often because I just really like using, um, whatchamacallit. I like using my box cutters, but sometimes I just need a little bit more precision because my hands slip and it's no good. So let's just cut. already better than what I can do so this is a 5 by 20 strip hopefully straight on all sides but who knows I feel like it's not straight anymore okay all right cool so this is the 5 by 20 it's not straight I have this cutting mat that has all the measurements that I need and I still don't do it right well, this one over here is definitely a five. Let's just make better use of the, the measurements here. Because these are in centimeters. See, I already knew it would take long. <laughs> Imagine doing this as I went through the tutorial So it's good that I practiced so I already know what to do and not take up too much of your time Oh, now I can use my cutter Because I know this is straight Okay, so this is supposed to be a 5 by 20 strip Close enough <laughs> Close enough Okay, we're good and then now for the actual pieces of paper to draw on, I'm going to use my multimedia paper. And now I need to cut uh, five by five strips, four of them. So I'm just going to use this as my guide. I'm just going to trace this and then cut the five by five pieces from it. I like how I pulled out my paper cutter but I'm just using my box cutter I feel a little <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed doing this as I'm recording because I usually measure and cut stuff out not recording so you can see how bad should we do this? I said I would try my best. Um, a lot of the times when I cut stuff like zines and comics and pieces of paper, I usually just eyeball it. That's how I do it. Okay, so now we measure five, 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 uh, five, yes. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yes. This is a five here. Five. Oh, do I not have enough? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use this one. I might need another square, actually. Will this square be close? Oh yeah, that's close. So I'll just use this. I'm just gonna clean up this edge here. It's not straight. So now I have my four five by five pieces and then I have my five by twenty strip here. So that's the first thing we need. <laughs> it's already not measured right. <laughs> that's okay. Maybe I'll just cut the edges. Yeah, I'll cut the edges right now. It's cool. It's fine.
within the strip is what I want. Okay, so there's that. And the next thing I have to do is I have to measure one centimeter strips uh, from four to eight. So I'm gonna do that. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I do it on the other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I connect the two dots. Okay, now I fold it using my, you don't have to use a bone folder. Oh, it's not straight, but that's okay. So I just fold them on both sides. So make sure I can see. Oh, what I did was I used my bone folder to score it. So I can just be a little bit more accurate. So now I start here. So I'll just fold it on either side. So the more crisp your folds are, the better it is. And it's also good if this strip that you're using, your five by 20 strip is um, thicker paper. It's just better if it's thicker. Okay, so now we got this kind of W shape right here. Make sure everything is nice and crisp and folded. Now, okay, so now we wanna put glue on the one centimeter strips only. So this, this is, and this, you don't wanna glue, the, you don't wanna put glue here or you don't, you don't wanna put glue here. Okay. I should have drawn onto my things already, but I got too excited. It's okay, I think I'll be able to stick to draw them as I stick them. So now I want to put the, you, you could have, so you can have like your pictures done already, but man, I should have done that. Maybe I'll draw it actually. So just so I can just put more glue later. It's okay. So I'm going to draw the drawings. So I had a plan. So what I want to do for my like sad quick meal is roasted sweet potatoes. That's my favorite thing. So I already have it planned out. Make sure my measurements are right here. Yeah, I want it a long way. Okay, so roasted sweet potatoes. I'm using a pencil. And then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw myself like. Oh, you know what? Actually. I want to draw myself hugging the potato. And it has like those eyes and little roots before you wash it and cut it up. Happy about my potato. Just hugging the potato. like this pencil it's I need to sharpen it but I don't have the sharpener on hand ah, my favorite pencil I'll zoom in when I'm doing the, the line so you can actually see what I'm drawing I want it to be cute pretty sad weekend. Saturday I just watched like I think I watched like six movies or something. Not no not six, that's overkill. I woke up and I watched a movie. I've 
really don't remember what I watched. Oh yeah, I watched Sightless on Netflix. It was aight. And then after that I watched another movie that I already forgot what I It's so hard for me to talk and draw at the same time. I'm not getting the the vibe from this that I want. I need that just loving, like hugging this. Okay, that's better. And then I want to put a title at the top that says roasted sweet potato. But I could also put that outside of it. So, um, yeah, I'll write it down. Roasted sweet By the way, there is also a specific potato, roasted, a specific sweet potato for this recipe. I can't, I don't like the, the regular orange potato. The one I get, I get from the Asian store and it's called Oriental Potato. But I don't know. Mm, maybe I'll put like a fork. Can you even see? All right, so there's that. And then the first, okay, let me zoom in right now. I think you can see that better. So the next step is wash thoroughly. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the text at the bottom because it shows more when you do the flip of the waterfall thing. And then I'm gonna put like a shower head and then the potato is having a shower. But it's having a shower with me. I could be implied naked, it's fine. I'll just put a heart. Wash <laughs> the Cool. And then the next step is uh, poke holes. Oh my god. Poke holes. Just loving this potato, and then you suddenly just poke holes. Maybe what I'll do is I'm like crying. This potato is my my love. <laughs> no, but I have to. Sometimes I use a knife, sometimes I use a fork. In this case it'll be just <laughs> two forks. It looks so funny. All right, poke holes, and then the last step is to put it in the oven. So preheated. Oven 400 uh, for about one hour. It depends on the size of the potato, but what I'm gonna draw is I'm I usually like him in front of the oven watching it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like waiting so impatiently. Good enough. So now let's do the lines and I'm gonna use my favorite marker, my 08. And I think I did find an 08 that had ink left, but I must track it down. It was this one, okay. 
Yeah, you can see that and you can see my ugly nails. All right, pray for us. Let's get this nice. In love with a potato. Okay. I guess I don't need my other foot. Yeah, let's just have the other foot. Okay. Some little eyes and sprouty thingies. Let me don't clean it yet. And I wanted a, a fork here. Depicting its ultimate demise. Okay, <laughs> now we go with the title. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna leave the title first and then I'll do the next one, which is Wash Thoroughly. I hope I don't mess this up when I put it into waterfall mode. So my hair is all bubbly. So nipples, of course. Okay. Make sure potato is clean. What are your quick meals when you're lazy or feeling down? My roasted sweet potato works uh, both ways because it's fast, sort of, and it also makes me happy. I've made meals where it's fast and I just am just sad because it didn't taste very good. I was just like, maybe I should have put in more effort, you know? Okay, so I still have to color this. I was thinking of doing it in color, like actually painting with some color. So I'm going to actually right now. So, okay. Poke holes. Crying face. Sweet potato right now. I have some more downstairs. Yeah, I would be interested to hear about some meals that you can make and like without too much thought and it's tasty. I'm not the best cook, but this really works out for me. Actually, it would be faster if our house had a microwave, like, but we don't have a microwave in this house. So I use the oven. So these are the holes that are poked. Oh no, I messed up. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, now poke hole. to let that steam out. Okay, and then the last drawing is the preheated oven drawing. And my impatient self in front of it. Keep drawing myself with short hair, with long, well, yeah, short hair. <laughs> My hair is quite long now. I do this a lot. I just stand by the oven. A lot of the times when I'm baking or cooking something, I'm just too impatient. Sizzle, sizzle. All right. Um, I did caps. So I have to remember to pre oven. 
hundred for about one hour. It's longer if your uh, potato is bigger and your oven, some people's ovens have different settings. Cool. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll write the title. Roasted sweet potato. Okay. I'm gonna get my paints out and then we'll paint these. I'm just gonna erase the pencils. I'm gonna get rid of the grid because it's probably annoying you guys that it's not straight. <laughs> okay. So, have my paint ready. There's a big shadow there. Cool. So the potato that I, I'm gonna say potato a lot, is that I use, again, I'm not sure exactly what kind it is, but it's a, it's, it's a bit more purple than it is the orange one. So like a reddish kind of purple. Maybe it is more taro, I'm not sure. I don't think it's taro, but it is purple. That's fine. Okay. More purple, actually. Yeah, so since this paper is mixed media, I can do a little bit more layering. And I have to remember that since I'm coloring, I don't actually want to be too loose like I usually am with my grayscale stuff. is probably not dry yet so I want to be careful and I don't want it to bleed it's the impatience for me I guess I can think about what I want to be wearing like what color I'm gonna color the fork mm -hmm. I think I'll just do a blue simple enough Blue jeans. I could keep my shirt white and just do um, a shade like a gray. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the hair. Okay, I want to give myself a bit of shading in the face, so do that. I want to shade a bit more. Give it a little bit more presence because it's so important. Good enough. I do want to have a yellow background. I feel like it will work really well but before I do that I'm going to move on and color the other stuff and wait for the other wait for it to dry potato is showering
this. Okay. Yeah, I don't think a vlog is gonna come out. If you guys are vlog watchers, I don't think I'm going to post a vlog at all. If I do, then cool, but if I don't, then also cool. I just didn't really feel like vlogging the last few days because of the whole no motivation thing. So, it might just be an art journal video this week. Okay. I'll do like a nice tile floor or something. At least some blue. More potato shading. So don't peel the potato. I like eating the skin. Okay, a little bit of red. It's too purpley. Mm, I haven't really thought about the paper wrinkling which might affect the way it folds or gets pulled when it when you pull it so i guess we'll see i don't think this will be my oh i forgot to mark that i don't think this will be my last uh, waterfall entry or waterfaller waterfaller <laughs> waterfall card entry i'll probably make few more when I get ideas of what to actually put uh, put in them I could just put photos but I felt like doing more something more comic-y I guess okay now the pants are blue I already have that ready mm, this blue is so dull Works. Wait for my the skin to dry a bit more. Do shading on the shirt. Mm -hmm. Do some potato shading while I wait for my other colors to dry if minutes or seconds. Okay, okay, now I can do the hair, hopefully. I just don't want the black hair color to bleed into the skin too much but that's pretty good I'm happy with that some face shading and then I have to do the mouth somehow I say somehow because I don't want to mess it up so some yellow for the stab points. Cool. And a 
little bit of blue for the sweat marks. Gonna enhance the pants. And while I have more blue on my brush, I'm gonna enhance the, the blue here. Okay, I have to remember not to go too crazy with the painting because I don't want my little drawings to wrinkle too much. Okay. Now, the last drawing. We'll see how it looks. Hopefully I don't get too obsessive and not like it. <laughs> sometimes get so impatient to get to the final stage of whatever I'm doing, whether it's drawing or doing a spread that I really, it's really hard to push myself to get to the end point because it's like, oh, I could, I, I'll just fix that right now, but it might turn out if I just keep going and finish it. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the oven. I just get so impatient. Even now, I'm just like, ah, Jory, wait for the skin to dry a bit, but nope, pushing ahead. Okay. Make the oven like orange inside a bit. Make it look like there's some fire going. Bit of yellow. Ooh, that's a lot of yellow. Okay, purple, put the date in there. And now my, mm, I, I, I have evolved into wearing shorts instead of pants. That's okay. Okay. I wanna, I wanna do the floor a bit. Maybe I'll just do like a little shadow. sticking out okay. oh, this brush is too big then a little bit of face shading again I made this heart red instead of black. Ah! Oh, okay. The last thing I want to do is enhance the hair a bit. As you see, when watercolor dries, it becomes more dull than originally thought. Okay. I also need to let this dry before I put it on the on the strips so i need to do that i'm very tempted to color in the backgrounds yellow just to add a little bit more oomph but again i don't want the the drawings to wrinkle too much and have the you know the pull action messed up which i th i'm thinking that might happen all right so I'll let these dry and then i'll get we'll get back to putting it all together all right i'm stubborn and i decided to just color it in with yellow with my pencil crayon instead of painting it so that can alleviate any kind of folding or wrinkling
nice. Nice. Okay, so everything is colored in, and I do have that pink Posca. So let's try it. Will I mess it up? Let's see. See what I'm doing? No, oh, it sort of worked. Well, now I have to wait for this heart to dry before I can stick it all on. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. No. We're gonna have to wait. Again. Okay, so this is one, two, three, and four. Okay, so I have this rose color. Let's try it. Um, it may not layer properly because I'm using two different brands of pencil crayon with this, but it looks like it's working a little bit. It'll also help with the drying time. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's pretty subtle. I'll probably film the the close-ups tomorrow morning because it's it's too dark right now. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see. It's kind of dry. <laughs> no. What have I done? The impatience, the impatience. Um, could have had it, Joy. But you were too impatient. So now I have to deal with the consequences. Which include doing white out. Oh my God. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna stick it because I'm just way too impatient. Let's just stick it right now. So, the last thing was to, I'm gonna put glue in on these guys again because it, the, gyro, the glue gla, bleh, the, the glue dried up, the glue glue doop. Jeez. Okay. So now, I need to stick it. And I have forgotten how to. I think you just kind of, let me, let me review, hold on. Here. Oh, I hope that's right. Where's my thing I can use to... I'm just gonna use this. Okay, and before that I poke holes. Okay, and then what you do is you fold this part and then now we have to cut a strip of the same one so I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my paper cutter. This should be a one centimeter strip, about uh, one by 12. I'm just gonna eyeball this part. You know what? It'll be easier with my box cutter. Just gonna eyeball a centimeter. What is that? That is a little bit over one centimeter, but that's okay. And then in terms of the width, I'm just going to do another eyeball. It was suggested to be about 12. So there's that. And now I want to uh, 
glue the bottom part here put some glue there it's the strip behind the last photo Hold on, okay. Oh, it came off. Oops. That's my bad. Okay. I was supposed to cut the, like, trim the edges if I wanted to, but I completely skipped that step. Fold it over like this. The other part over. And use the tape. Put it in place. Okay, I need a longer piece of tape. Now, I'm supposed to be able to pull it down, and there you go. And then put it back up like that. And um, yeah, so I didn't trim the side, so you can actually see my pencil marks. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the pencil marks on here, but that's okay. The next time I do it, I'm going to make sure everything is nice and trimmed up. But there, you can also cut the bottom so it's not so long. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut a little bit off. There. Okay, now we can design the spread, but I'm thinking of, well, I already, I'm doing it. I'm gonna cut the corners to make it nice and rounded. And then now, I can design the spread. Where's my sheet? Where's my sticky? Oh yeah, so I was thinking of putting the sticky here. better if your pull tab was actually you can even do it sideways if you wanted to so I need to stick it on first so I'm gonna commit and put this on Where's my use glue, but I'm going to use tape. You also don't want your tape to interfere with uh, the cardboard in the back, so I think this is way too thick. I think 
I'm going to stick it on right here. Okay, so let's see how that works. I'm going to color in my heart that I messed up. With a red sharpie instead. It's a little bit better. Okay, so here we go. Um, hopefully, it'll flatten out as it stays in the journal. But this is what you. This is what I made. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure if it totally works for the idea of like something sequential, like a comic. I feel like it's better if it's just photos, but. It's okay. Uh, so next time I'll just do photos maybe. So this is what it looks like. So, looks like <laughs> roast sweet potato, wash thoroughly, poke holes. It's kind of hard to see this image. And then preheated oven 400 degrees for one hour, about an hour. And then you kind of just pull it back, push it back in your, it's here. So it's a little, um, it juts out a bit, but I think that's just because I used watercolor and the, pap the pages aren't flat, but I really like how it turned out. Again, hopefully it'll flatten out as it stays in the journal, but I'm going to continue with the rest here. So I pulled out my favorite notepad, and I think I'm going to have a portion here with that I can write. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a rip. And then I pulled out my anchovy label set. I want to use one of these color wise. Hmm, not sure. Green is no, probably a yellowy one again. Let's try one of these. So it's about food. Hopefully, I can find something that is kind of about food. No, actually, I'll pull out the other one. This set. There might be one that's a potato in here, actually. There's yellow. Oh, that's so perfect. Look, a potato. Yes. Yeah. Also saw a potato in here somewhere. I swear there was a potato. Well, I thought there was a potato, but maybe it was just my imagination. Hmm. Uh, I thought it was in the workout one. Oh, it is in the workout one. I was right, but it's so small. That little thing is a sweet potato. Okay, so. I'll use it, I'll use it, but I'm gonna write stuff down first. I think that's what I needed. I don't think there's any other thing that will match this. So this is like ice cream. There's popcorn and drinks. Man, I can't believe 
I knew there would be a potato. I just knew it. These are fruits. These are veggies. Uh, yeah, I think I have it. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna put the title here. Um, I'm gonna write down what I want first. So when I'm sad or lazy. My writing could be better, but that's okay. So now I can use the petite. I still don't know what to title it, and there's this spot where I can just put stickers, I think, instead of writing more things. But I don't know what sticker to use. a sticker from my set that'll work. I think I have one where he's cooking a, a meal, so maybe that will work if I can find it. Where Mamta is cooking. Yes, I got it. Because he's right here, so I can put him right beside himself. Uh, I'm gonna do that thing where I cut it again. So it doesn't fall on the, the sticky part doesn't fall on the spread. I don't want to cover the, the peach of the notepad because I really like it. Oh, it's so sticky. Why do I do this every time? I messed this up, I didn't cut it right. Ah, hopefully I have another one of those. I don't have one. Ha, ah, shoot. I know I have extra somewhere though, so let me search. <gasps> I found one. Oh, but this one's blurry. <laughs> Also have one of Kevin eating some noodles, so I'll use this too.
I go to, and then I'll write. Because that could be a theme. So my go-to blog, my go-to list. Now let's do, my go-to, this is sad meal. Lazy slash sad meal. I need something right here. Maybe another sticker. Something here would work. Mm. We're just exercising. I don't want that. I don't want exercising. There's one that says, I'm hungry. <gasps> yes. It says, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'll put one of them here. They're too big. These are also miscuts. <laughs> Kind of, this one kind of works. I have utensils, so I'm going to use the fork and the knife. There's a fork. There's a knife. And then I have people here having coffee, but it works for me, so I'm going to use that. which I will use again. I I need to highlight this somehow. Maybe I'll just use a highlighter. Stitch potato. Um, I guess we'll do the arrows. Ah, man. This sort of sparkles. I need another dot. I think it'll be nice somewhere. There you go. Pretty simple. The highlight is the waterfall card, which I had a lot of fun making. I definitely learned a lot. I think I might adjust the paper that I'm using so it doesn't kind of jut out like this because the paper is a uh, heavier stock. So maybe that's it. Instead of watercolor, I'll just use something that doesn't crinkle up the paper, hopefully. Maybe that'll work, make it better. Um, so let's put it back into the book and see how it looks together with the other spread. I tried to make it match a little bit. Page so empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more dots. 
I'm gonna add bluer dots if I can find them again. I need to organize my stickers. It's so cute. I just feel like this page needs a bit more, but there you go. I guess I could find something. Let's add another sticker. There's not enough sad stickers. <laughs> you wouldn't want sad stickers anyway. Um, little popsicle that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll do the popsicle. Or not. <laughs> I think I have another idea. I'm going to use this. Oh, by the way. Um, somebody left a really cool comment about what this actually is. So the symbol is uh, a Japanese symbol. Well, maybe not exclusively Japanese, but it uh, signifies an onsen or a, a hot springs. So that's what it is. It's not a hot stove top. It's the, it signifies a hot spring and, or you can go and bathe. And then apparently these might be... Um, the signs for towels, I think, which is really cool. So thank you for, for that person who left the comment and educated me. I'm very thankful for that. So, and I was like, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. I'm going to put a little bit of the blue dots here and more blue dots. I'm going to get rid of the onsen symbol because I don't need it. I just feel like the page is just too empty. So, go. Again with the blue. Down here. Okay. And this is the spread. So, two kind of different ideas, but yeah i really had fun making the waterfall card and i hope you guys enjoyed watching me make that and if you make one of your own let me know that's really cool and please check out uh, peachy milk tea's video on it i got it from their video so yeah it's really cool nice little addition to your art journal really fun so hopefully that flattens out but yeah thank you guys so much for joining me I will see you guys in the next video, so I'll cut to the shots of the close-ups when there's actually bright sunlight coming in. Hopefully tomorrow's a little sunny so I can do that, but here we go. Thank you guys again for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Bye!